MIT researchers uncover unpatchable flaw in Apple M1 chips. What a terrifying headline. Unpatchable. Uh, anything unpatchable. <clears throat> it's like uh, you go in for the diagnosis, the doctor's like, unpatchable. Oh, no. You're like, oh, I'm dead. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> you never want to hear unpatchable ever. But uh, let's see what this is about. Apple's M1 chips have an unpatchable hardware vulnerability. It could allow attackers to break through its last line of security defenses. MIT researchers have discovered. Well, MIT researchers, they can discover anything. Uh, they have no boundaries, the MIT researchers. Uh, those are the type of people you hire to create your security. Right. That's the trouble right there, isn't it? The vulnerability. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not done. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> the vulnerability lies in a hardware level security mechanism utilized in Apple M1 chips called pointer authentication codes. This feature makes it harder for an attacker to inject malicious code into a device's memory and provides a level of defense against butter buffer overflow. Butter overflow. <laughs> the overflow of butter. <laughs> I sense a theme. <laughs> I sense a theme in this episode. Buffer overflow <laughs> exploits. A type of attack that forces memory to spill out to other locations on the chip. Researchers from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, however, have created a novel hardware attack which combines memory corruption and speculative execution attacks to sidestep the security feature. The attack shows that pointer authentication can be defeated without leaving a trace. And as it utilizes a hardware mechanism, no software patch can fix it. The attack, appropriately called Pac-Man, works by guessing a pointer authentication code, a cryptographic signature that confirms that an app hasn't been maliciously altered. This is done using speculative execution. Whew. To leak pack verification results while a hardware side channel reveals whether or not the guess was correct. So it has to keep guessing over and over. That seems hard. I assume this is hard to do, but I mean, as it, as it would be with any exploit, it is possible, possibly a problem for you. Um, in a proof of concept, the researchers demonstrated the attack even works against the kernel, the software core of the device's operating system. Massive implications for future security work on all ARM systems with pointer authentication enabled. So it's like, this could, this is probably across the industry. However, the headline is obviously better in the case of Apple, more specific. Um, this particular pointer authentication is implemented on all of Apple's custom ARM-based silicon M1, M1 Pro, and M1 Max. Uh, but this also includes Qualcomm and Samsung they'll be oh no never mind a number of other chip manufacturers including qualcomm and samsung have either announced or are expected to ship new processors supporting the hardware level security feature okay so eventually <laughs> hmm well i don't know is if this is a cause for concern for the average person but it is the type of thing that if you were a chip designer that you would be uh, attempting to neutralize with your upcoming designs possibly for m2 even mm -hmm. a lot of people have m1s you never know well and, and a lot of people have other arm-based qualcomm everything mm. covert channel of two or more already in, in uh install malicious. you know they often would have bounties for these types of things too. find the flaw get paid it's a really interesting model mm-hmm where you're actually the company is paying you to hack its own it would be it's like incentivizing yeah it'd be like find the flaw in uh in lou later right mo and you're like really that doesn't seem like a thing i would want, want to, to do, do yeah. as a supporter of such things mm -hmm. but in this case it would be very beneficial to do so uh however you are not an mit researcher no i'm not <laughs> you're a nugget researcher <laughs> A, a speed nugget researcher. Uh -huh. A nugget record holder. Otis is feeling left out, but funny enough, as I said prior to us filming, he could have beat the nugget record. He's he the only one I here. He, yeah, I think he actually could. For sure he could. <laughs> <laughs> he would do minimal chewing, for sure, especially if we made it seem like we were going to take it away. Uh -huh. If we threatened. <laughs> he eats 40? I don't know. Even more? Man. Oh, man. Do those records count if you puke immediately after? Mm. Like how long? There must be some stipulation on how long it would have to be down there for. You got to eat it right away. Somebody in the chat says Apple has been notoriously bad about paying on some bug bounties, apparently. 
Ooh, I'd be paying for those because you piss the, you piss off the, the types that are capable of uh, uncovering yeah bugs. That are wrong. That's the wrong people. Yeah, they're obviously talented enough. You want to get on their bad side, Mo? <clears throat> no, not. You at don't all. want to piss off the exterminators, the bug getters. Imagine that's what they go by. <laughs> all of a sudden, you got a house full of rats. <laughs> I mean, this is all me metaphor right yeah. now, Mo. Come on. That's in bugs. Stay with me, Mo. I'm with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you like out of all that? That's the one you like? The awkward pause. Or was it my... What, you don't like the sound of the yeah sound effect? What, I, like, I like... Oh, you like the yeah sound effect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 